Okay, guys. I wanted to show you some guys something. I want to show you guys something. I want to show you guys something. Okay, so don't mind this. My God, my area is just it just be a mess. Okay. I'm trying to make some eggs and actual fabric. I think I'm going with a. I don't know, maybe a green. Maybe. I don't know. So this is the fabric that I'm using. If you guys have any idea of what type of fabric, I mean fabric, what type of thread I should use for this color, I think I'm going with a like. Electric green? Well, I'm not really sure. Okay, guys. Like, well, let me know what you guys think. Because I'm not sure. So, yeah, you guys. I really like it. It's super freaking cute. I got all the fabrics pre cut on here. I have these little freshness tags I got on my job. Got like, why not? I got them all in here. Got all the fabrics cut up and ready to be sewn. Um, I only have the skinny version in this fabric it's like this pink one I like the uh, half an inch one I also have it in this floral pattern right here but the thing is I didn't do it for any other pattern because let me got kind of show you guys okay so right here is my little detailing I'm trying to take it out all right you got I got these in class for the large ones it's the original in class the ones that is always used, those got already cute. We also got these for the small ones. But the thing about this one is the, the quality isn't like 101. No, okay, 101. Is it 100? 101. So I have to cut the fabric and then I have to, I mean, yeah, I have to cut the fabric and then I have to iron it on because it's like an ACV type of material. It's, it's pretty cool. I like it. And then after I do that, then I assemble it, which is adding the snap buttons, sewing on the buckles, and then adding the end class. So that's all I gotta do, which those part isn't that hard. So let me show you some of the buttons I got. So these are for the larger size. They're super pretty, guys. This is how it looks. Let me see if I can get the focus. There you go. So this is how the large button looks. The small one looks just like this, just of course smaller. It's really cute. Shiny, let the, y'all see that? If you can see the camera. Yeah, that's cute. So that's the button. And then, and then this is the small one. Yeah, like just, the same thing the smaller. And then I have them to go in silver. Then I have the ink class. These are for the large ones. I have these in gold and silver as well. Okay. Okay, hey, fine. So, so this is the in class. It comes with a little key ring. And it's very good quality, guys. Like I said, it's in gold and silver. And that's for the, um, the large ones. However, the small ones are different. Like, not really the small ones. Those are going to be it for that. I'm not going to make any more small ones. I only have them in two fabrics, which is the one that you guys see me finish, which is this one. I'm going to have a small one in these. And let me see. And I'm going to have it in this one. So these two will have small sizes because I already cut those pieces. But then when I open up my bag of, like, you know, my detailing, for my layers, I um, know that the gold was not up to bar. Like the silver is fine, like right? the silver, cause these are stainless steel, where they're supposed to be. Everything else I got stainless steel and I have no problem with it. Like this one has it discolored or tarnished in any, oops, tarnished in any way, shape or form. As you can see, it's like really shiny, really good. But these ones, these ones right here, what these ones, you can kind of tell, like, it's like, you see, like, brownish looking. So, yeah. So, the silver ones, I might still offer the ones just in silver, but more likely not, because I want everything to kind of, like, correspond with each other, go with each other, I guess, whatever. I can excuse my hair, so. Let me see if I look better. Y'all probably like, girl. 
Yeah, I got like a little bit of whatever. But yeah, so when I make them, I have 20 of these. Well, 19 of these now, but I've cut this one and 20 of these. So, whatever I make, they're going to be discounted. Once they go in, they will be gone. I will not be having at least these ones anymore. I still want the size. The size is super cute. I can show you guys an example. This is that size. I guess I can compare it really fast. This is the large size, and this is that size. You know what I'm saying? So it's still so cute. I mean, I like slim ones too, just because I like large ones. So, like, you know what I'm saying? So I still want this size. Like, this size is super cute. Oh, I was practicing with purple to see if I liked it. Mm -mm. I didn't like it. I didn't like the purple. I like the pink. But, yeah, so this is the two sizes. I'm not, I'm going to sell this one, but I have to find an in class. So, like I said, once these, these, the ones I have, once these ones are going, I don't know, whenever I find new ones is when I'll bring it back. But I will be selling these. So, yeah. And I have them in two sizes, which is, of course, the Slim Girl and the Big Girl. It's the other one. And I have them in two different lengths, which is medium and then short, which will be the one on your wrist and then the one right in it. And then I want to make car grabbers and I want to make little wallets. Um, but I have to practice with those because. So yeah, that's that's the detail for that. I'm going to end, end class for that. Now I'm going to tell you two different sizes of end class. And then, yeah, I'm going to get the sewing. Again. So yeah. Let's see. I'm trying to look for the button so I can put this back. And I keep all in this little container for right now. This is really, this is a good size to start off with, but I, I can tell, and it's heavy though. But I can tell the more I get, cause I'm ordering more for tomorrow or Friday or something like that. That's not gonna be enough. I got another, I got three, two, three more empty ones though, but. Okay, let me show you guys. So this is one, no model one in there for practice. Like it's like the practice wrist one. I just put a little silver thing. I'm like getting lengths and stuff together. This one was messed up. You can see it's like, like I don't know if you can tell it like, like um messed up, like all wrinkled. Well, anyway, so I was just testing it like this. I'm gonna put the book a little lower, like towards the middle, and then I was just testing it on the wrist. Like I said, the buckle is cute, but it'll be a little lower right here. It won't have a but snap button on this one. This is how the other side looks. So you have to wear it like this. You know what I'm saying? Super freaking cute. Super cute. And with the M-class, I'm gonna be so cute. So, yeah, I'm just practicing. I'm gonna cut this off so I can keep this. Chat. So yeah, these are the two different buckles. We have the silver and gold one and for the large ones. Right, and then we have the silver and gold for the small ones. Quality, let me tell you, let me tell you. I don't play. I'm trying to look. Just like how they perfume. You know what I was doing? I had to reinvent it. I'm trying to do it with layers. I'm trying to do it. Ah. I'm going to people first start talking like that, but that's what, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to when people first start talking like that. And like I said, in my next one, I will probably be showing you guys me just sewing. So you guys, like, something like that, want to see the end result and stuff like that, then stay tuned. Um, I still make mistakes when it comes to sewing. Because like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm not to this. I am kind of new to this. So I'm still learning as I do it. But I do know if you take your time and you really pay attention, for the most part, I'll be fine. But it, it comes a time when I'm like talking or rushing or the kids are whining or something. So yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Let me set you guys up. I'm finna um play a YouTube video. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you a fabric I'm cutting right now. It's that overcast. But this is a fabric. Well, okay, I wanted to show you guys some of the fabric I'm cutting. Um, again, sorry about lightning. I don't know if I said this before, but mine is too great. So. 
I'm trying to remember what I got, but this is the fabric I got. It. It's super cute. Um, I have a whole bunch of strips here. Well, I've only got two more sheets over there, and then these. And yeah, I wanted to show you guys something. Check it out. These are the shoes I'm gonna wear that. Oh my, you can't tell me that doesn't almost match. I do. Come on, come, come, come on, hold on, wait a minute. Like, come on, really pay attention. Really pay attention. Stop playing with me. Like, come on, like, stop playing. Like, that is so freaking cute, guys. Like, this shoe is so cute. I uh, believe it or not, it's like really comfortable. And it matches that so well, guys. I cannot wait to style this and take pictures with it. It's so freaking cute. I'm gonna show you guys in sunlight. But yeah, you guys, I just wanted to show you guys that really quick because this is the fabric I'm cutting. And I cannot wait to you guys actually see me put this together on my ass. <laughs> Alright, guys, let me get back to doing what I was doing. See you guys in the next video. If you like, comment, share, subscribe. Love you guys. Bye. Have a good day.